What's good everybody? I'm just here after my two and a half days no carbs. Uh, it was a killer, it was pretty horrible to be honest. Uh, but now my glycogen stores are nice and depleted. I had hit a high volume workout this morning. Already started loading my carbs. I've had 100 grams of oats, 80 grams of dextrose, 100 grams of banana, and 600 grams of sweet potato. Yes, those numbers are correct, and I've got over triple that left. As you can tell, my stomach is already bloated, but the veins are coming out, and the carbs are being absorbed. I'll explain to you um, later on in the video as to why I load and deplete my carbs and also I'll bring in and touch on uh, water loading and salt manipulation too. Peace. The struggle is real. Bodybuilder problems. See you here less than about 10 minutes. Yeah. Meal 3. 100 grams of basmati. 120 grams of chicken. I'm trying to keep the carbs high, protein low. Uh, probably have some oats after this. Oh shit! I'm not on a carb diet. I'm on a protein diet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are crushed Oreos. Yes, this is an Oreo cheesecake in the making. This is my post comp treat from my beautiful girlfriend. Some oats after those that basmati rice. Tiny bit of honey on there. Other than that, maybe some flavour drops, but we're all good. I'm waiting for this baby to charge, so just use my for a minute. The madness. Homies. Next meal. 600 grams of potato. Oats again. Uh, I had another 600 grams of potato, but I forgot to film it because I'm an idiot. But another 100 grams of oats. And then I've got a shake after this. And then I might eat a bit more because I'm still hungry. But that's about it 5,900 calories. I'll put everything that I've eaten in the description. That's the meal of the day. Another shake. 120 grams of banana. Waxy maize starch, 100 grams, and some chocolate whey. My G going out tonight. We can swag down the Armani Exchange. That's all. Mm. That's everything I ate today. So, carb loading. What is it? And how do we do it? Carb loading is the process of depleting glycogen stores in our muscles for an extended period of time and then at this point when they've been when your muscles have been um, depleted from glycogen from a long period of time they scream for carbs they, they need it and they need to absorb it as fast as they can what i did is is i had four days of just slowly tapering down my carbs until three no two and a half no carb days so day one no carbs day two no carbs and the, and up to the afternoon it was no carbs then I did high volume workouts to fully deplete the muscle. So imagine this. This is the muscle full of carbs at the beginning of the week. Slowly, 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 you high volume, high volume, and you exhaust the muscle, deplete the glycogen. At the bottom of the glycogen uh, depletion, this is when you start reloading. So yesterday was my refeed, and I had 6,000 calories, 1,000 grams of carbs, guys. And all this did is overnight, it's just gone like that, like that. And I woke up this morning and I feel swole. So the muscle absorbs all the glycogen like this and then in combination of swelling up with carbs and then you start dropping the water, this is which what gives the shrink wrap effect around the muscle guys. I really want to grow and develop as a channel, I want to bring that community aspect into it guys. Um, so any kind of feedback, I really really appreciate any kind of videos you want to see, 
any kind of workouts, any kind of nutrition guides, anything like that, let me know and I'll get the content up as soon as you guys want it. So thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.